Outside State Parliament, bus operators arrived bearing a clear message to voters. The private companies accusing the government of forcing them to sell their buses to the state under new contracts. I do not want to sell. I will not sell. This is extreme socialism. Family businesses from around Victoria gathered on the steps at Spring Street. In all honesty, the, at stake is our business. We think the idea of them being taken over by the government by force, really, is not acceptable. The opposition promising to renegotiate the contracts if elected in November. We will never, ever seize your private assets for the job you do to serve so many communities. But the Public Transport Minister says there's no compulsory acquisitions and companies can choose a shorter contract to retain their vehicles. No operator is being asked to give up the assets that they currently hold. The information is wrong. I've told the Bus Association of Victoria that they are wrong and the campaign of misinformation Order. needs to stop. Also in the spotlight today, the two opposition MPs who returned to Parliament for the first time since they sensationally broke broke a pair arrangement on Good Friday. Bernie Finn and Craig Ondaatje unrepentant over their actions during the vote on the fire services bill. If that opportunity came up today, tomorrow, the day after, I would do exactly the same thing again. I came and voted, we saved the CFA. Many, many volunteers are grateful for it. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.